For this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the transition from Turing to Java. And uh, you can see on the left here, I've already got a Turing program written. And this is a fairly simple program. It is going to ask the user their current age and the current year, and then it will perform a calculation and then output to the user what the years are where they will turn 25, 50, and 75. So this is a program covering input. We're going to ask the user some questions and we're going to enter those values into variables. Some simple processing. We're going to do some simple calculations, just some simple arithmetic, and some output. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to accomplish the input and output. So if we take a look at our program, we've got some variable declarations here, a, do a couple of different types of variables, a couple of integers, string, and then a few integers here. You can see when you declare your variables, you can either declare them one line at a time or you can declare them all on one line so long as they are the same type. Then we ask the user their name. Because it's a string, they might enter a space. They might give us first name and last name. And so I do the colon star to allow for the space. You can see here I've used the dot dot notation so that this input of age occurs on the same line as this question. Whereas for this one, the name would have been on a different line. My calculations, those are straightforward enough. Just want to point out to you that in Turing, we use the assignment operator, colon equals, in order to put a value into a variable. And I do that three times here. If I want to insert a blank line, just for formatting, just to make things look a little nicer, the way to do that in Turing, I can do put, and then the empty string, quote, quote and that will place a blank line. Also in Turing, this is how we put a comment in. I've got a few of them here. We use the percent sign. You can either do it on a line by itself, as I did here and at the top of the program, or you can actually append it to the end of a line if you want to comment a particular line of code. With my output statements, I can also, I can string together, or I can combine together strings and variables. And I can do that two different ways. I can use the dot dot operator to join these lines together onto a single line. Or I can use the comma to separate out different things that I want to print on the same line. So here is a string that I want to print on that line. I also want to print this variable. I also want to print this string, also this variable, also this string, and also this variable. So you can see in this single line I've combined six different items. And I'm going to show you how all of these things are going to translate over to Java. Now when we create a Java program, the first thing that's going to be very different is the structure of the program. Whenever you're going to create a Java program, you need to have, and it has to be written exactly like this, class, the word class, lowercase c. And now the name of your program, and this is going to be the same as the name of your file. So this is called the class name. So we're going to do a Turing to Java IPO tutorial. Then you need a curly bracket to open. And it's not a bad idea to always do your pairs of curly brackets at the same time. It's up to you. And then you can see that I have this pair of curly brackets. And I'm going to start writing in between them. The next thing you need, public static void main open round bracket, not a curly bracket, round bracket, string, square, open square bracket, close square bracket, args, and then close my round bracket. I don't want, I'm not going to worry too much about why those things need to be there for now. For now, just accept the fact that it's structure and it needs to be there. So there is another open bracket, close bracket. So my program is actually going to go in this location. And you can see in Java, the single line comment, instead of a percent sign, is a double slash. Okay, just like in Turing, uh, we are going to declare our variables first. Slightly different syntax, int age, as opposed to var age colon int. And at the end of many lines in Java, you're going to be putting this semicolon. Uh, I wish I could say it's all lines. Unfortunately, it is not. There are rules associated with it. And as you work through Java, hopefully you'll start to become more familiar with those rules. So we've got int age. We've got int year. We have string. Now, string requires a capital letter. 
and that's a departure from Turing. The variables int, those are known as fundamental data types. Um, they're built right into the programming language. A string is a complex data type, and complex data types in Java will have capital letters on the front of them. So again, that's just something you'll get from experience. Uh, you'll probably make some mistakes with, especially if you're doing another language first, such as Turing. You can also declare variables on the same line. So I can say int year 25, year 50, and year 75. Still need the semicolon on the very end of that line. Now, I wish we had something as simple as put, but we don't. In Java, it's system.out.print line, print ln. And then we can ask our question, what is your name? And semicolon on the end of this line. There's a lot of overhead in Java. The system.out.print line has to have a capital S on the front. And now we are actually going to use a custom uh, way of doing input. Uh, the input in Java is even more difficult than all of the stuff that I've shown you so far. So I've provided you the in class uh, and that's a library of input. So when I want to input the person's name, I say name equals in dot get. And in this case, I'm going to get a string. Open round bracket, close round bracket, and a semicolon. So this equal sign is the same as the assignment operator over here in Turing. So there's another difference. So we've got the assignment operator in Java is a single equal sign. I'm saying get this input from the user and whatever the user types in after they hit the enter key, store that in the variable name. Also note that in Turing we had to put a colon star on the end of our input line for strings to make sure it accounted for any spaces. In Java and in most languages, a space is part of a string. So if you do an input, it's going to assume this, the spaces are part of the string. Now we can also do this on a single line. Here I use the dot dot notation to put this on one line. To put this on a single line in Java, we do system.out.print. We don't say print line. The print line, the ln on the end of this, puts it onto a new line. So it will type out or it will display this string and then it's like you hit the enter key then it will proceed to the next line. If you do a print then it won't proceed to the next line it will wait on this line either for another output or for user input. So what is your current age? And this time I'll put a space on the end there because I'm going to have the user give me their age. It's an input we're going to get, but in this case we're going to get an integer. Noticed here that I did get and then capital S. These are two different words and so we use the same notation. Get capital S string. Here I'm going to get and then capital I int. So now I've got the user's age. System dot out dot print. Again, I'm going to get this from the same line what is the current year. Again, I'm going to give myself that extra space on the end because I'm doing input on the same line. Year equals in dot get. This is another integer. So I know it looks very different, yet there are many, many similarities. There are actually more similarities than there are differences in what I'm doing so far. Now my calculations, and I'm just putting in the same comment that I did before to make it look the same. So year 25. It's not colon equals, it's just equals this time. Year plus 25 minus age. And a semicolon on the end of that calculation. Year 50 is equal to year plus 50 minus age with a semicolon on the end. Year 75 is equal to year plus 75 minus age. Now, what about putting in a blank line, as I say over here on the left? Insert a blank line. So the way that I do that is I do a system dot 
out.println, open bracket, close bracket, that's it. I don't put anything there. If you try to do it the same way you would in Turing and actually put a quote there as well, that'll work just fine. But you actually don't even need the open quote, open quote, close quote. Now, system.out.print, and now notice here I use the dot dot. The equivalent in Turing, or the equivalent in Java for the dot dot, is the print statement. So I do hello space, and then close that string, system.out.print, and again I'm using dot dot, and now I put the variable, name, and system.out.print. Now in this case, notice this last line doesn't have a dot dot on the end. And that's because once you're done writing this, I should have put a period here, once you're done writing this, you want to go to the next line. The same thing is true over here. So I finish it with a print line, comma, space, I will tell you the years when you will be 25, 50, and 75. And finally, I'm going to do this line, except for now, I'm actually going to put it all on one line. So system.out.print line. But I'm going to put a bunch of stuff in here. I'm going to put 25 in space. Now in Turing, you would put a comma here to join them, but in Java that will fail. In Java, you put a plus sign, and then year 25 plus, comma, space, 50 in year 50, plus, comma, and 75 in plus year 75. Okay, and that is now the equivalent program. A word of warning about this. Um, the plus operator here when you start your print line with the with a string with something in quotes the plus operator is understood to be the concatenation operator it's a big word what it means is i'm going to combine strings together and make a one big string you might well hold on a second this is not a string this is an int this is an int this is an int but when you start with a string it assumes that the next thing that you output you wanted to be a string and so it will take a look at this and it will say well I understand this is an integer but I can represent an integer as a string it's just the I take the numbers and I turn them into characters and so this works just fine however if you start with if you start with a number it's going to treat this plus sign as if it were an actual arithmetic plus sign so watch out for that bit of a trap and if you really want to start with a number the way you can do that is you can put quote quote plus the number this will say i'm starting with a string and then everything after this will get turned into strings so that's just a little aside for you to keep in mind okay that's it that's our first tutorial on converting from turing to java covering the basics of input processing and output